Welcome to episode 4 of the Hardcore Challenge series. This is a very special episode because this is the first video being edited by our new editor, Idiot Incarnate. We like to call him Nate in Twitch chat because it's just easier and quicker. Just a little background on Nate. He is one of my longtime viewers and moderators of the channel. Also one of my closest friends in the Twitch verse. He's also a veteran of the Tarkov community and a very talented editor. So he was the perfect person to approach to help us out with this YouTube channel. So everyone welcome Nate to the YouTube family. He is an integral part of this channel and will help us move forward with more content and better content to come. With that out of the way, let's Let's get into the first raid of episode 4 of the Hardcore Challenge series. We are going to start the day in Interchange. The goal is to grab as many Tashankas as I can because we do have that 15 Tashanka quest for Therapist. Straight from spawn, I decided to loot the nearby caches just to get some loot going to start the day. I'm going to leave you guys a little bit of raw gameplay here because we do come across a little bit of a surprise here. <laughs> he explained it so well. I love it. Oh, perfect. Pack X, still a helmet. Still a damn helmet. Next one. I think this one's a ground cache, is it? There it is. I don't know if I need that, I'll be honest. Okay, Vass. Perfect. This is great. Great start. Great start. There's another one here. Two skinny trees. Thank you. Thank you. This is not skinny. <laughs> the bad news is, Chet, he fractured me. He fractured me. Bad news. I did not expect an early fight like that. I don't bring a splint. What? He's level 43? Just please have a splint on you, dude. Um, there's a duffel bag. <laughs> oh. The good news is we're not too far from extract. Yeah, I'm thinking, I guess we could hit up... There's two stashes here, right? The third one, I'm not going to do the third one because I'm going to assume that guy did that already. I'm going to heal up here. I have to heal anyway. Man, should have brought a splint. At least we're not bleeding. At least we don't have a heavy bleed, if anything. This is a very crucial split-second decision. Do we let this guy go or take the shot? It was a PMC. I was thinking of shooting him, chat, but I'm like, if he turns on me, I have no movement. I'm going to be a stationary target, so. <laughs> Please, no one. Had to extract. I think I can jump the reel. No way. Can I not? Shit. You're right. Can I not? Like, even a mini jump just to get over it, chat? Is, like, jumping canceled? Okay, we're good. Close call, close call, close call. All right. Thankfully, we survived the raid despite limping our way to extract and coming across an extra PMC. I decided not to engage a second target. Like I mentioned in the video, if I do shoot him and I whiff, I'm a stationary target. It's an easy kill for him. So if I shoot him, I have to be super confident and like hit him, kill him rather in like two or three shots, which I was not confident in doing. So we let him pass. We got out. On to the next raid. I'm gonna run back interchange with the same hope of getting into the mall and shopping for the remaining Tashanka I need. In this raid, I am running a stock ADAR, but I'm running 855A1s in this. So it's a sleeper ADAR with really good bullets. These are my only 855s. I'm going big or going home with this raid. Speaking of dying for. Oh, there's a guy in front of me. There's a guy in front of me. Fuck. He went left or right. This is a really a bad, really bad spawn chat. I don't think he saw me. At least, I think I want to cut left. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of like follow his path thing because I don't want to, I don't want to cross his path. We want to be behind him. So, oh, 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 o
GG. I, uh, he saw me. I thought he didn't see me. I thought he just crossed. GG. That's hardcore for you. We worked so hard for that eight hardest to die. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Yet it goal mix, bro. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Oh, BS goal mix. He was a full on Chad. GG. <sighs> Good bright side. We get the heal. Just an unfortunate moment here. Straight from spawn, I was working my way to the mall and we came across this guy. He was pretty juiced with a goal next in his AK. But these are losses we learn to take and accept in the hardcore challenge. These will happen. Sometimes we'll get caught with our pants down against the guy who is going to outgun us. So for the next raid, we're going to run back interchange again for the third time because third time is a charm. But this time I won't go for it to shank run. I'm going to stay underground and loot try to kill a couple of scavs, try to make up for that last loss. After a loss or two, especially in hardcore, I like taking these little quote-unquote ego wins is what I like to call them. Basically, they're a simple raid after a loss where we go in, try to loot stuff and get that extract. I just want to survive just so I don't feel like I'm snowballing into deaths. Yeah, so I'm not trying to sprint this chat. Sprinting is the one way that's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to kill us. Sprinting is always going to kill us. It's too loud. I don't know where this scav is, bro. Ah, uh, way too much bullets than I wanted, but I didn't know he was right there. That's what it is. Oh, I zero. Oh, it's okay. Zero is fine. We can still repair this. Um, I think we take this home. We have three guns to work with. Uh, but we're out of here anyway, Chad. So no need to min max. I'm I'm just gonna leave, like straight up leave at this point. Not gonna overthink anything. I just need to get out of here to survive. The downside as well of interchange is extracting. It's super not over till it's over because you could always run into someone here. Well, in any map really, but most especially in interchange. Did you? All right, that was a huge raid, Chet. Huge raid. We got three guns. That's three guns, two sets of body armor. After dying the last one. Um, that, that was that was really big also we got a helmet to work with and we're almost level 13. you know what that means chat you know what that means level two therapist is what it means um again chat stashes yesterday we did stashes here i died while doing that so a little ptsd i'm not gonna do it again i'm not gonna do stashes and interchange unless one it's on the way or two i really have to <clears throat> excuse me voice is cracking chat puberty finally hitting there's a guy to my left that's not great I have to be careful with my spawning and interchange. <clears throat> there goes my SKS. <laughs> Let's switch maps, chat. Let's switch this is our second death of the day, but also our third fight straight from spawning into interchange. This is not the first time it happened to me in this hardcore series where I die or I fight early in interchange. So I have to be hyper aware every time I spawn in. If I get the chance, I should slow it down. Let the rest of the PMCs like progress from spawn. Let them get into the mall first and then I'll trail behind everyone if it's possible. There are some spawns though where I'll have to W key straight into the mall because if I don't, I get pinched. An example of that spawn is the highway spawn. Nonetheless, that was a GG, although a painful loss, still a huge lesson learned for future raids. That's four raids in a row in interchange with no progress to the Tashanka quest, so I decided to put that aside first and move on to another quest so we don't go crazy banging our head against the wall. We are going to head into Shoreline to mark three ambulances for the therapist's healthcare privacy part one. With me here, I am taking a hunter with 10 shots in it of M80s, and that's all I have. No extra bullets. So hopefully that's 10 good sniper shots. Okay, dude. Speaking of good sniper shots, if I can't kill the scav in two shots, I am not going to take a third. I believe we hit one of the two shots on the scav. The second shot may have whiffed because of my low durability hunter. And in this game, when you have low durability, your gun gets quite inaccurate. Or I'm a potato. 
I'm not sure. Maybe both. I'm gonna make my way up to the chopper side of resort to mark the third and last ambulance. But this is gonna be really tricky. As most of you guys know, resort is probably one of the hottest hotspots in the whole of Tarkov. All the chads are here. So there's no real proper way I can mark this ambulance safely. I'm just gonna have to go in there and hope for the best. Okay. This is so that's the ambulance chat we need to mark it's in the middle of resort if you guys don't play tarkov or are new to the game this is one of the hottest zones in the whole in the whole game <laughs> it's one of the hottest spots you'll ever be a part of um so we're just kind of like gauging the area there's no science to this it's really we just have to go and pray but i'm just giving it time just because we we have time anyway i have 50 energy 50 hydration we have we have a lot of time to kind of just chill um, but I should be going soon and trying to mark it. Um, there's literally no science to this, but to just sprint there and hope for the best and cross your fingers. That's all it is. I'm just trying to let, let it settle, you know? Yeah, literally this is pure RNG. We, we have no science to this. There's nothing we can do but hope. Gotcha, gotcha, Asteroid. 6, 7 p.m. Check for a key card right there. You know what, chat? Here's the thing. They're fighting. They're too busy. Am I right? Oh my god. Dead bodies out in the open, bro. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay. Those grenades are far. Those grenades are far. They're too busy, chat. Too busy. Way too busy. Way too busy to care. Way too busy to care. What time is it? It's time to get out. <laughs> oh, let's get out of here, boys. Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy. There's two guys. Two guys. Two guys. Keep going left to right, boys. Keep going left to right. Keep going. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Keep walking. Keep walking. I don't want to run yet. I don't want to run yet. I do have a sniper. Wait a minute, chat. I have this inaccurate sniper. You know what? Yeah, it's so inaccurate. I'm, I'm right, chat. It's so inaccurate, dude. <laughs> I have a sniper that can't hit a shot. Chat, let's get out of here, boys. <laughs> oh, my lord, dude. <laughs> a sniper that cannot hit a shot. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay, dude. Oh. <laughs> That is so lame. All right, GG. We survived. At least we got three ambulances down. We tried to snipe. Couldn't hit a shot for a life. This was a huge raid for us. Being able to mark all three ambulances without dying, especially the resort ambulance, is a big deal. And then we survived. Extracted. GG's. Next up, we are going to return to Interchange to finish up my Tashanka quest. We made it safely into Goshan, collected the seven remaining Tashanka I needed in one go, got out of there uncontested, survived, and safely extracted. Some good news as well from that last raid, we were able to pick up a couple of extra spare mods and parts for our AK to fully deck it out. It is such a satisfying feeling to be able to fully mod out a gun in hardcore using an in-raid gun and in-raid mods. We are going to take this proudly built AK back in the interchange again because we are done with the Tashanka quest. We are moving on to collecting car batteries and spark plugs for therapists quest as well. Unfortunately, no car batteries or spark plugs were found in this run, but we did spot a PMC. Um, I think we go with the Ergo over the recoil. We save that other for the other one for another for a future one. The thing is, we're, we're tapping this. We don't need recoil. I'm not even going to... I'm not even gonna mag dump this. We're gonna try to stay at sniper range and just tap, tap, tap. So, there goes the play. Juicy boy right there. He's still there. I'm gonna go 100 meters on this. He's crouched under the fence. Hmm, you got up again. He proned. He proned while looting. Smart. While fixing loot. There he is. 
Okay. I'll only take a shot if I have a shot. I'm not gonna risk it. Only if we have a good shot. I'm gonna jump now. Fuck it. Okay, he's already in. He's finishing up the loot and all. If he stayed still for a bit, would have been nice for us. I'm not gonna overextend for this kill. So this is something I'm, I'm trying to also like be a little disciplined with chat is. Well, of course I want, I also want the content. I want the kills, right? We don't want to just want to be, you don't want to just loot all day in hardcore, but if the more we invest in our, in our, in our run, keep leveling we will get that we will get those those kills we can and fights we can actually fight you know tech day for 60 rounders good point dude lav two i what i on ads i i potatoed what if i killed him like that it was an accident i didn't mean to on ads as i shot dude See, as much as like we're trying to get sniper shots, chat, I also don't want to like. I'm just trying to get him passively. You know, if we get if we get the opportunity, then great. If not, it's all cool. I don't think we have a car, but we might have to run this back. I don't want to spend too much time in raid as well. Let's get out of here. Let's go reset. So it's so sweaty just walking around with this because I, you know, if I if I lose this, we'll have to go back to the to the naked runs again, kind of. If we survive this raid, it's a good haul. We have a lot of mods for future AKs. Um, we have a we have an AK-74 somewhere in stash. I can mod it. We have so much good mods for it. Hey, young po, how you doing? <laughs> PMs with three. I sold all the PMs, Latch. <laughs> I know we're space, but yeah. Um, we we have to survive this. Why so high ping slot? I'm just Asian in a nutshell. I play I play I'm from the Philippines. I play in Asian servers and. Uh, none of the Asian servers give me the ping I like. I, 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 they give me the ping I, I desire, so it is what it is. It's just Asia in a nutshell, and Philippine internet in a nutshell as well. We don't have great routing either. So all that combined. Okay, here's the moment of should we fight this or not. Pro Lama, what's up? Yeah, she internet. Why you play on Asian region? Because I'm from the Philippines. Because I'm from Asia. <laughs> I saw him. He's right here. Got him. Oh. Patience paid off. Bigger bag as well. Mm, crowbar or this? Okay. Gordon Freeman time. Get everything chat. Yes. Ah, oh, what a raid, chat. What a raid. We are gonna end episode four there on that beautiful sniper shot with this decked out Vepper that was completely built from in raid.
it's an awesome feeling of having that proud moment of building that gun in raid and getting a proper kill with it we are gonna end this episode on a high note hope you guys enjoyed this video also if you guys have any honest feedback with the edit and flow of this video it would mean a lot leave it in the comments below do you like the way it is right now do you want a little more raw footage every now and then or do you want us to trim it more and kind of highlight the better moments and leave the boring parts out now that we have our second editor nate on board with us it is important to hear feedback from you guys so nate and i can find that perfect middle ground for a video that is easy to watch for you guys and a video that's entertaining for you guys to watch as well nonetheless if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button it helps the channel a lot it's a free way to support the channel helps with the youtube algorithm as well subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet to keep up with all our content it would mean the world to us and i will see you guys in episode five